Hello YouTube, Losing Louie here with a much anticipated unboxing. I have been waiting for this shipment uh, for a month now and I did want to bring it to you because I'm really excited about the uh, the coins and the deal and the uh, experience so uh, with no further ado um, what I have here is an order from Germany and it came in this little box here um, from a supplier called uh, Arunium Arunium Okay, dot com, dot de, and I'll uh, I'll show you that link in a little while. Um, and I was shopping on their website, uh, trying to take advantage of the uh, great conversion rates from euros uh, to um, to dollars. And uh, Germany does uh, does sell in euros, and they are part of the EU. And yes, I know that. Okay, so here's the package. It took forever to get here, and it came, as far as I could see, without tracking. Uh, Deutsche Post, Deutsche Post, but I was not able to see, at least in my, on the internet, where this thing was or if it was actually going to get here or not. So it was a little bit of a nail biter. Um, it was not a huge order, but I think um, the quality of the uh, the product will make up for that. I did a little pre unboxing. And uh, let me show you what came. Okay, the first uh, part of the order that uh, they actually flubbed was this roll of one ounce lunar goats, BU goats, and you've seen these a thousand times. These were supposed to be the um, Lion Privy, which they have for a little under 20 euros that free. Um, and uh, I ordered five, I didn't want to get too greedy, but uh, what they wound up sending me was the generic uh, goats, so, um, which actually uh, sell for more on their website, sell for about $22, uh, 22 euros. Um, um, so uh, I'm not going to send them back, but I told them that they, they sent me the wrong goats and uh, the next order I placed, uh, I asked them to be sure to give me the lion privy uh, goats. I think there'll be uh, a nice resale on those. But nonetheless, no no harm done with the uh, 20 euro uh, goats. The conversion factor is about, I think, 1.15, and I'll show you after this all the numbers and what the total cost per coin comes to. So there are the goats, a uh, roll of five, which I am keeping. Um, I also picked up, uh, just for my collection, a 2013 kook. That knitted out to about $27 US delivered. Um, I just wanted to have that. So um, the other thing I picked up, which are pretty new, um, I think I'm going to pull this out of the out of the flip. Okay, this is the um, the African Springbok. All right, it is uh, the Republic of Gabonese, and it is uh, 1,000 francs, the Springbok. It's the same image that appears on the Krugerrand. Outstanding deal on these. I'll show you the prices in a little bit. Gorgeous coin. Okay, the Springbok. This is a long series, long outstanding series where um, the image does not change, but um, I think these are going to do really well. They're beautiful coins, and uh, again, I'm I'm late to the party, but the price was unbelievable on these. Okay, and I'll show you in a little bit on that. So there's the Springbok, the 2015, right? Uh, let's see. Did I say 2015? My lighting's a little bad in here, excuse me. Uh, 50th anniversary, 2015, yes. Um, all right, so there's that one. But the, uh, the coins that I really want to show you, which you all know about, but I'm going to give you a little history lesson here in a little bit, are the Rwanda Cape Buffalo and others of you have seen these. So I just ordered five. Again, it's my first order with a Runian. 
and the price was absolutely right. I do not think you will source these anywhere cheaper, anywhere in the world. Um, they've actually come down a little bit since I bought these with uh, the price of spot or the conversion factor changing. They come in these government issued, uh, let me see if I can get this straightened out here. They come in this government issued packaging and this is the way you want to keep them. Uh, you do not want to take them out of the packaging and put them into flips. Uh, that will diminish their value. So I'm sorry, I can't, I can't take it out. But uh, the strike is amazing on these coins. And the value is really there. So um, that is my quick unboxing from Arunium. I've already placed a follow-up order, a much larger order. And uh, I would encourage you to take a look at German suppliers uh, with the, uh, the exchange rates being so wonderful. And, uh, you know, it's uh, definitely worth your time. I think you will immediately have a profit on coins that uh, you import to the U.S. All right, so I have a couple other little videos I will add to this to round out the presentation. But for now... Uh, Thanks, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Losing Louie, signing out. Um, so here are the numbers on uh, this uh, order from Germany. Uh, when I placed this order, it was some time ago, the conversion rate was $1, 2.86 euros. Um, and I think that may have improved. Uh, spot was higher as well by a little bit. So um, if you roll in the cost of the shipping, which was 18 euros, into the total order, and convert it by the 1 to 2.86 conversion factor. Here are the net prices I paid for. Um, it's about a $300 order, so not, not a huge order, but enough to spread the shipping around a little bit. Um, the, uh, the Buffaloes wound up costing $23 US, um, and again, they are cheaper today. And uh, let's see what else. The, uh, the goat. Uh, um, the lunar goats uh, cost $27, although uh, they were supposed to be lion privies and they were um, generic lunar goats. Um, and the, uh, the Springbook uh, Gazelle, $26. I think that's a great price on that coin. And I bought a 2013 kook. So um, anyway, I think the, uh, the Rwanda Buffalo pricing is fantastic. Um, in regard to the order, it was a long shipment. It, it did take uh, two, three weeks. It was not tracked in any way that I could see. Um, it arrived uh, from a carrier I did not uh, recognize. And when I got the box, there was no paperwork in it, um, which I guess is all okay, but I'd have to wonder. And they did make an error on the order. Um, so uh, I'd have to wonder, uh, you know, this got lost, what the heck would happen. So I think you are rolling the dice ordering from Germany, but the exchange rates and the cost of the coins are just superb. So if you like to take a little gamble, um, you know, th this one paid off well for me. I am uh, going to make another order, but uh, not too big. I would, I would not want to see what would happen if uh, this got lost in the mail. I, I don't know you'd get your money back. Uh, anybody that knows uh, our Renum uh, German uh, silver, uh, please post. I know you guys do buy from them, not very often, but this is absolutely the best way to get some of these exotic coins. Um, I don't see prices anywhere near this in the U.S. Okay, hope you enjoyed this, uh, this alert. You guys take care. Um, going through the Rwanda coins really quickly here, someone has put together a set that uh, is for sale for $575 for seven coins. Um, just to show you quickly, here is the elephant from 2009 with a mintage of 1,000. Here is the lion from 2010, which has a mintage of 1,000. Here is the Zebra from 2011 with a mintage of 5,000. Here is the Rhino from 2000, 
um, 12 with a mintage of 5,000. Here is the cheetah from 2013 with a mintage of 10,000. So they've really been ratcheting up these mintages. Here is the Impala from 2014 with a mintage of 10,000. So they've kept it at 10,000. And finally, here is the Cape Buffalo uh, from 2015. Uh, and uh, we're told it's a mintage of 10,000. I, I believe that to be true. So uh, you can see uh, why the earlier coins have done well, but still 10,000 is a, uh, a pretty respectable mintage on a BU coin, especially if you can get it for close to $20. So I just wanted you to see the whole set, but uh, realize the, uh, the initial coins in the series were very low mintage and then um, popped up to 5,000 in 2011. And then as it caught, uh, caught on more, it popped up to 10,000 in 2013. So I would not expect the same appreciation, but uh, I think these will be a, a good investment as long as they uh, <clears throat> you know, keep them to 10,000. Okay, thanks everybody.